Here at SMO 2022, I'm presenting a study uh, on the treatment of patients with metastatic melanoma that have mostly failed prior uh, anti-PD-1 treatment. In this study, we randomized patients that had failed anti-PD-1 between epilimumab, a standard of care, second line standard of care, and the treatment with tumor infiltrating lymphocytes. We randomized 168 patients in this study, uh, 84 patients for TIL, the other 84 patients for epilimumab. Epilimumab was given at a standard uh, uh, schedule of three milligrams per kilogram every three weeks for four doses, and TIL to lead patients needed to undergo first a surgical removal of a metastatic lesion to obtain the TIL, and then we had to, uh, uh, we, we uh, hospitalized these patients about five to six weeks later, and in the meanwhile, we grow the TIL to billions of cells. Patients were taken into the hospital, receive lymphodepleting chemotherapy to make physical space for the number of cells we would give. They would receive the cells and following the cell infusion, also a couple of doses of hydrose interleukin-2 as a survival factor for these cells. What the study shows is that with a remedian follow-up time of 33 months, we see for til treated patients that there was a 50% reduction in a risk of progression or death compared to epilimumab. So the hazard ratio was 0.5, with a p-value smaller than 0.001. The median PFS for til treated patients was 7.2 months versus 3.1 months for patients treated with epilimumab. Also, when we look at the overall response, TIL was much better compared to EP. 49% of the patients had an uh, objective response compared to 21% of the patients treated with EP. Interestingly, 20% of the patients had, uh, treated with TIL had a complete remission compared to 7% in the epilimumab treated patients. Then, when we look at the safety of this, uh, of this data, we didn't see any new safety uh, concerns uh, for the TIL treated patients. Of course, we have the side effects of toxicity from the lymphodepleting chemotherapy and the hydros interleukin-2, but we didn't see any other side effects. When the patients were released from the hospital, uh, almost all of these side effects had completely disappeared and patient could then recover further at home. There were no long-term problems uh, seen in these uh, treated patients. So, to summarize, I think that this first randomized controlled phase three trial um, investigating in a, a, a cellular therapy in patients with metastatic melanoma shows that, that there is great benefit and I think based on these data TIL could become a new uh, treatment option for patients with uh, this disease.